Hi, this is Katie. Mm. Oh, what is this doing? So today, I'm actually really excited about this video, except I feel like it looks like I have makeup right here, but I don't. Stop it. I'm going to talk about five gluten-free chain restaurants that are delicious and that I can eat at. So if you have weird food allergies, especially if you're allergic to gluten and you travel a lot, go to these five restaurants. Or even if you don't travel, you probably have at least one or two of these near you. So you should probably just go because they're delicious and they don't make you sick. So win-win for everybody. Okay, so let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, ready, go. So I'm going to start with, I have my list right here. I know them by heart, but I need to look at a list sometimes. So first, actually might be the most random one, is Sonic, Sonic Drive-In. So at Sonic, the only thing I've ever actually tried that I know is gluten-free, that is safe, that does not make me sick, is a hot dog with no bun, and I get it with like cheese and a pickle and ketchup and tater tots or cheesy tater tots, if you'd rather. They fry their tater tots separately. I think, I think they fry their tater tots separately with their french fries. So I think their french fries are also gluten-free. I've just never tried them. And then the hot dog's gluten-free and it's good. Just make sure you tell them like, I'm allergic, don't put it near the bun, just put it on the thing. And then they do, and then it's cheap and it's good. That's not gonna be like my first choice. Like, oh, I really want Sonic. Sometimes, but rarely. But if I'm hungry and know there's a Sonic around, I will go. The next one is Chipotle. Now you guys probably know this already if you can't eat gluten, that Chipotle is really, really, really good when it comes to that. Most of their food is gluten-free. I think everything except their burritos are gluten-free. So all their meat, all their veggies, and their salsa, and their guac, and all that stuff. And the Chipotle employees are so good about it. If you tell them that you have a gluten allergy, and if you kind of just politely ask them to change their gloves, they will not only change their gloves, they will wash their hands first. So like they'll take off their gloves, wash their hands, put new gloves on, and then make your food. So they're very nice, and the food is really good, and it's good quality, and I just found out that they have pulled pork. I don't know if they always have, and I just didn't know, but it's delicious. You should get that instead of the chicken, because I used to always get the chicken, and then I got the pulled pork, and now I'm happier with my Chipotle order. So Chipotle do it. The next one is Waffle House. Now, if you guys have ever been to a Waffle House, you're probably like, Katie, that's like the dirtiest place I've ever been to, or Katie, no. Okay, there's a few things about Waffle House. So one, they cook the food like right in front of you. There's no kitchen in the back. The food is right there with the cook and the flat top. You can see them cooking your food. But the second thing also, they don't really have many ingredients with gluten besides their bread and their waffles. So whenever I go there, and I go there quite often when I'm traveling because I love Waffle House, I just tell them like, hey, I'm really allergic to bread. Can you just make sure there's no bread near my food? And then that's it and then I'm fine. And I would be wary about like the other meats because you don't know what's in them, but the eggs, the hash browns, and the grits and the bacon I know are totally okay, and the cheese, and like the jalapenos and the onions, like little toppings, but once again, just make sure that they don't touch bread, and you can even do the same thing there, like you can do at Chipotle where you ask them to change their gloves. They might be a little like more confused about it because they're not as like well-trained in allergies as Chipotle is, but they'll still do it if you ask them to, so. Waffle House. So the next one is a brand new one. I just found this out like two weeks ago and it is Red Robin. You guys, I used to love Red Robin. Like five years ago when I lived in Connecticut, I used to go to Red Robin all the time. I don't know really actually if I went all the time, but I used to go sometimes and I loved it. Their burgers are so good, their fries are so good. All the things are really good. So a few weeks ago, my boyfriend and I were traveling and we looked online for gluten-free food and every time we searched anywhere, Red Robin would be in the top like 15 selections. And we were always so confused like, what? Like, no, it's Red Robin, no. And we didn't even really check it out because I just never believed it. And so maybe like two weeks ago, we decided to actually like go to their website and figure out if they're really gluten-free or not. And they are, they have a lot of their stuff actually you can order gluten-free. So we've gone twice in the past like two weeks. And guys, they have gluten-free buns and they are, like delicious. Like they're better than most of the ones that you can buy from the store. They don't fall apart. They're not like crumbly or mushy. They're just good. They're good gluten-free buns. So you're eating like a real burger and their fries and their sweet potato fries are gluten-free as well. I don't know what else is gluten-free because that's all I ordered and that's all I really care about because I love burgers and fries. But if you go in there and you tell your waitress, don't tell the hostess because 
the waitress has to do it for you, but if you tell the waitress that you have an allergy to anything, she'll bring you over an iPad, not even kidding, she'll bring you over an iPad with like their allergen list type thing. So anyway, go do that, get some burgers, get some fries, and, and, and Red Robin, first of all, they're delicious. Their burgers are so good. But second of all, their fries are bottomless, which means you can order as many fries as you want. And the thing about me that you should obviously know by now is that I love French fries. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe I've never really told you about my love of French fries. I don't know, but I love French fries so much. So the fact that Red Robin has bottomless French fries and I can eat unlimited French fries is a big deal for me. So I love it there. I love it, love it, love it. Last but not least is a place that if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you already know that I love this place. <sighs> In-N-Out Burger. So In-N-Out Burger is great with food allergies. Their french fries are gluten-free, their milkshakes are gluten-free, and the only other thing that they sell is burgers. And you can order a burger protein style, which means no bun, it's wrapped in lettuce, it's messy, but it's delicious. And if you tell them you have a gluten allergy, they will go cook it separately, like on a completely separate grill. That's all I have to say about that. In-N-Out is my favorite freaking restaurant in the world. And I would go there every day if I could, but now I don't live near one. My hands are doing this. That's it. Did you like this video? Do any of you guys even have gluten allergies or soy allergies or anything? Are you guys on restrictive diets? If you are, let me know in the comments. And if there are any other chain restaurants that you know are really good with gluten allergies, let me know in the comments because I want to go there and eat all of the food. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribed, subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.